and welcome back to the Summer Youth Employment Program's 10-Minute Tip video series. Today, we will be talking with Christina Tate on what it means to be a professional. Let's hear what she has to say. Hello, my name is Christina Tate, and I'm the owner and founder of Visions Consulting Group, a consulting firm that specializes in business consulting, grant writing, and special events planning. I have an MBA in business, entrepreneurship, and I also teach college business courses. I've worked in a variety of fields and industries, and there's one common theme represented in each of them, professionalism. Whether you are new to the workforce or you have worked in your career for a significant period of time, it is very important to be professional in your attitude, in your appearance, and also in your behavior and work ethic. In this presentation, I will discuss the following topic, personalizing professionalism. There's an old saying that first impressions make lasting impressions. This is especially true in business and also during the interview process. Today, I will cover three topics related to personalizing professionalism, which will help you make a good impression. One, preparing for interviews. Two, dressing for the workplace. And three, managing social media. So let's begin by discussing the first topic preparing for interviews. It is extremely important to prepare for the job you're applying for. There are several ways that you can do this. One way to do this is by researching the company in advance. Go to the company's website and also look at their social media pages to learn more about the company. This is another way to make sure that it is a good fit before you apply. If you are knowledgeable about the company during the interview, it communicates to the interviewer that you are interested in the company and in the position. Be on time, or 15 minutes early if possible. If you are early for an interview, the interviewer will feel more confident that you will show up on time for work. Dress appropriately. We will cover this later in the presentation. Bring a copy of your resume so that you can properly answer questions that the interviewer may have during the interview regarding your work history. Stay off your cell phone and turn your ringer off. It is a distraction. Any calls can wait until after the interview. Also watch your posture and your body language. Try not to slouch or fidget. Sit straight up and be confident. Use the time while you're waiting to review the job description and your resume. After the interview, follow up with a thank you card or an email to the interviewer. This helps to set you apart from others, and it also shows them that you're interested in the position. Next, we will discuss dressing for interviews and also dressing for the workplace if you currently have a job. What to wear and what not to wear. It is important to remember that how you dress at home with your friends or out on the weekends might not necessarily be appropriate for the workplace or for an interview. So let's briefly discuss what to wear and what not to wear for both men and women. For women, you have to be careful that you don't show your stomach and avoid showing too much cleavage. Use Velcro between the buttons if there's a slight pull at the buttons. Keep your straps under wraps. Make sure that your straps are not showing from beneath your clothing. Avoid wearing clothing that is see-through or too tight. This, this gives off the wrong impression. Also check your hemlines, which should be just a couple inches above the knee or just below the knees. Your hair should be a neutral color, as well as your makeup and fingernail colors. And your fingernails should also be nicely trimmed. Avoid heavy perfume, as some people might have an allergic reaction to fragrances. Your undergarments should not be visible. Do not wear flip-flops, sneakers, or overly high heels. Minimal accessories and jewelry should be worn. For men, make sure that you wear a freshly laundered, crisp looking dress shirt that is not wrinkled. Your shoes should be polished if you're wearing dress shoes. You should not wear casual shoes, uh, including bands or boots. Your pants should be belted. Your, your nails should be neatly trimmed and clean. You should have a neatly styled haircut, little or no cologne, and shave if needed. And finally, we will discuss the importance of managing social media. Employers will often view your social media profile 
and posting before calling you in for an interview. They may even look at your friends and their postings. As an employee of a company, you are a representation of that company. If your image or profile features inappropriate content, that company may not hire you or call you in for an interview. Therefore, it is very important to watch what you post. What is on the internet can remain for years, and it is hard to remove something controversial or inappropriate once it has been posted and possibly even circulated by others. The image that you portray on your social media pages create the image that others see. If your pages feature sexual content, you in any appropriate clothing or nude, or if there are images or content that condone racism, drug use, violence, etc., employers will question your character and they may not want you to represent them. In closing, let's discuss a few final pointers regarding perfecting professionalism. Be on time. Complete assignments on time. Leave and return from lunch on time. Be positive with a can-do attitude. Be flexible cooperative, and a team player. Be polite, pleasant, and courteous. Avoid cliques, politics, and office gossip. What we've covered today are tools that can be implemented during an interview and also at your current workplace. Putting these tools in place will not only help create a good impression, but may also lead to you landing the job you want for success in your current position. Thanks, Christina. Those are great ways to be professional while adding your own personal touch. If you have any questions on professionalism, please feel free to reach out to the SYEP staff at 757-385-0432. Don't forget to take the quick quiz below for the chance to win some free SYEP swag. We'll see you next week as we discuss building a personal brand.